Are you ready to install your bidet, mate? You can start by removing the existing seat from the toilet body. Unscrew the nuts and remove the seat and cover. Keep the removed seat, cover and nuts. That way, if you ever want to move your bidet, you can put back the old parts. Fix the bracket onto the toilet. Adjust the seat and toilet front so that they match before fastening the nuts. Take the bidet may seat, set it on the toilet and gently push it back toward the bracket. Push the seat back until you hear a click. Next, close the water feed valve by turning it clockwise or pull to close. Drain the toilet water tank out. Flush and hold down until fully drained. Next, remove the water feed pipe and then install T-valve. Feel free to use Teflon tape or a similar thread sealing compound for a better seal. You may want to have a small towel handy to catch any remaining water. You can now connect the water feed pipe. Connect the bidet use hose to the bidet body. Your bidet comes with a handy remote. Nifty, am I right? Here's what you need to know about installing it. First, identify a good place near your toilet to place the remote. Attach the remote control bracket to the wall or other surface. Remove the back cover and install the batteries, which are included. Place the batteries correctly in the remote and close the back cover. Now that you've installed your bidet mate, you want to make sure it's working correctly. Start by opening the water feed valve by turning it counterclockwise or by pushing the valve in. Make sure there is no leaking around the hose connection. Plug in your bidet mate and make sure the nozzle emerges and retracts when powered off. Alright then, you've done it! Though you're probably feeling quite handy right now, don't let this easy installation go to your head. You're not a plumber. Now, go ahead and give your bidet mate a try. You know you want to.